Hi and welcome back to our channel. This video is gonna be about probably the most known proline in the world, Mozartkugeln. Mozartkugel was created by Paul I and named after Mozart 100 years after his death. And because first company never protected his industrial property, there are several companies that produce similar pralines under similar names. In this video we would like to show you our Mozart Kugeln tasting and we will explain the differences between them. On the screen right now, on the left, you can see the place where the first uh, Mozart Kugeln was developed. So we decided to start our tasting by eating the original one that was created by Paul first. In this coffee shop they not only sell the pralines but also some cakes. As far as I can remember one praline costs one euro forty and it's actually cheaper to get them separately so not wrapped like kind of in a package because you pay for the packaging extra. So this is the praline that we got and this praline is called original Salzburger Mozartkugel and this is the only praline that is called like that as it was the first one. The praline is handmade and you can buy them only in Salzburg or online. The praline looks and tastes completely different than the pralines that we can get abroad. The praline consists of three layers. There is one layer of pistachio marzipan inside, one thick layer of nougat and one layer of dark chocolate. After tasting it, we have realized that uh, all three ingredients were uh, high quality ingredients and the praline itself was very creamy. The taste of the original one was very surprising and from our point of view, that was the best one we have tried in Salzburg. The next Mozartkugeln that we have decided to try was from Schatz Konditorei. The Schatz Mozartkugeln are also handmade and it is called Echter Salzburger Mozartkugeln, where Echter means real. So those Mozartkugeln are not the original ones like the previous one, but they are still the real ones and they also produced only in Salzburg. Also the packaging is an indicator if the praline was actually produced in Salzburg or not. This Mozartkugel consisted of four layers. The first layer was a light pistachio marzipan that was in the middle. Then you've got one layer of dark nougat, which was a little bit thinner than the other one, obviously. One layer of a light nougat and dark chocolate. The main taste of the Mozartkugel was nougat and we couldn't taste as much chocolate nor pistachio marzipan. The marzipan in the previous praline had um, definitely more aroma than uh, this one. The next praline that we have tested was from uh, Josef Holzmeier. This one was created by him in 1865. We were very surprised when we have visited the Holzmeier shop because you could also buy Mozart Kugeln from other companies there, which for me is an indicator that they are not um, proud of their own products. So you can not only get the handmade version of the Mozart Kugeln there, you can actually get industrially manufactured products from the competition. For me, that says we sell our Mozart Kugeln for 1 euro 20 and if you don't have as much money, you can also buy the cheaper ones here. This is really odd. The praline from Holzmeier, it's also called Echte Salzburger Mozart Kugeln, like the previous one. It does have a different shape, so it's not a round uh, praline. And this one consists of five different layers. This one is a little bit different because it's got a nougat inside and then uh, you've got a layer of pistachio marzipan and the normal marzipan and two layers of chocolate. First the milk chocolate and then the dark chocolate. This praline has a lot of marzipan and it tastes also so. You cannot taste the nougat, but the chocolate was very nice and we had a feeling that there is some alcohol inside. The next Mossad Kugeln that we have decided to try was from Reba. Reba is actually a company that produces Mozart Kugeln in Germany. The Prodin isn't handmade, therefore it's a bit cheaper. The name of Mozart Kugeln is 
echte Rebe Mozartkugeln, which is a bit tricky because as the pralines are not produced in Salzburg, they cannot be called, like the previous ones, echte Salzburger Mozartkugeln. I just want you to be aware and see all those details because they kind of important. If you are not coming from the German-speaking country, you just wouldn't know. This Kugel consists of five different ingredients. So we've got in the middle nougat, then we've got pistachio marzipan, the normal marzipan, milk chocolate and the dark chocolate. This praline has very strong marzipan and alcohol taste and you cannot really taste the nougat and the chocolate. And the last praline that we have tried was from Mirabel. Mirabel is another big company that produces Mozart Kugeln. And if you are a fan of the Mozart Kugeln, you probably know this one. Mozart Kugeln from Mirabel are not handmade and they have four different layers. So we've got a pistachio marzipan, nougat, white nougat and dark chocolate outside. This praline doesn't taste like marzipan, doesn't taste like nougat nor chocolate. It is just a normal sweet praline. It doesn't have any aroma whatsoever. Unfortunately, although the Kugel is produced here in Salzburg, it was our least favorite. And here now you can see and compare how different uh, Mozart Kugeln are. Our winner was the original one from Powell First. And I really hope that our descriptions will help you to find your favorite one. As always, I wish you a happy week and I see you in the next one. Bye!